uh, yeah, uh, my question is, uh, my wife wants to work, but I don't want her to since I think it's just not the best thing for my family. Uh, I know Islam is okay with women working under some circumstances, but uh, I think we're in times of fitna. And, of course, my country is far from being a Muslim country. So I just think it's better if she doesn't work while I provide for her. Um, and she takes care of our home. And my question is, would I be oppressive if I stop her from working and does she have to obey me? First. Yes. Okay. okay. First of all, Akhi Abu Bakr, in Islam, things are crystal clear and it's black and white. Nowadays, under the pressure of the media, of liberal organizations, of ignorant people, of hypocrites who undermine Islam, and of disbelievers, the Muslims are becoming weak. Unfortunately, under such pressure, a lot of the Muslims are compromising their religion. And this is a great and severe and serious mistake. All the scholars and da'is must stay and remain steadfast. We should never allow the enemy to advance. We have to hold our grounds. Having said that, as you clearly stated, it is permissible for a woman to work providing, number one, her husband allows her to, number two, and this is an important condition, there is no fitna, there is no free mixing. She is not endanger, endangering her religion by exposing herself without hijab or free mixing or being in a place that she shouldn't be in. If these conditions are not fulfilled, it is totally prohibited for a woman to work. Now, if you provide for your wife and for your family, 100%, you put the food on the table, there's no need for her to work, then you have the full right to prevent her from working. Even if you don't have any reason, Simon says, I don't want her to work. This is your God-given right as a husband. A co-pilot, when sitting on the right seat, if the captain says, descend 500 feet, and the co-pilot says, nope, I'd like to go right or take another route, is this permissible? Definitely not, because they have one captain there is one guardian, one leader of the house, and that is the man. Usually he's the one wearing the pants. Nowadays in the West, it's the opposite and the other way around. It's the women who wear the pants, unfortunately, and this is totally wrong. So hold your ground. You don't want her to work and you're providing for her, say to her, no. If she's defiant and she's insisting and breaking your word, and not adhering to what you say, you have the full right to admonish her, to remind her of Allah Azza wa Jal, to follow all the steps needed in bringing her, bringing her back to her senses. If nothing works, bring a meditator uh, from your family, an arbitrator from your family and hers to talk it over. If the, it doesn't work, ditch her, divorce her, and put your mind at ease and get someone who's righteous practicing that would make your life a paradise because such an evil woman is not worthy of investing the rest of your life with. You've tried all means to explain to her that this is the Islamic ruling. She doesn't want Islam. She's not interested. And even arbitration, she's not interested from her own family. So what good is she to you? Unfortunately, nothing. Mustafa from